Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Pandora and welcome back to Primrose Like 3. And the last one, one of the dudes was drunk and went into the general store. So now she's got Glenn as her deputy. And we're at the jail. So let's see what happens. Okay, unusual customers. They're all drunk. <clears throat> all right, Zeke. Just cool your heel heels in there until you sober up. There comes two more. What and what do you have there, deputy? They ran into me trying to dine and dash. Sugar was apparently apologetic. You can't lock us in here like this. There's three men, but only one bunk. It's a violation of a fire code. It is pretty tight in there, Sheriff. And something tells me there's gonna there's a lot more coming. What do you want me to do? Leave the cells open? It's not like they're dangerous criminals. Just a bunch of drunks and rubble rousers. Just a thought. At least close the door on your way out. Alright, city boy. But don't you take one step out of this cell. Or we'll test that fire code theory of yours. You want handcuffs? Okay. Oh, I'm putting handcuffs on you. Okay. Sorry about that guys, I got something in my eye.
It's like you're free to go. Y'all are all sobering up. Get these on me. Got a bunch of people handcuffed out front, or are you here to check? Or are you here to check my sanity? Primrose has been a dry county since the Onway Saloon closed. Some clarys somewhere along the line thought taking liquor out of the equation might put a stop to all the tragedy. We know how that turned out. You approve a liquor license for the resort, Sheriff. You approved a liquor license for their sort, Sheriff? You think they're buying it there? You got another explanation? Maybe they're bringing it along. Those society types lack their single mulch. And you think they're sharing it with the locals? He Hank, you see them swaying out a bottle of Jim... Morgulin with Biff and Moffy. I take your point. Don't get me wrong. I'm happy to help around, help around, round them up. But soon we're going to start losing limbs at the sawmill. Yeah, it's all fun and games until someone loses an arm. You think? Oh come on! There you go. Ruined, ruined paradise. Are they really kind of figured out? That is coming from the resort. Oh, they're fighting. I'll knock you again if you ever talk to Fanny like that. Now you two knock it off, or someone's gonna end up in Dusty Springs Hospital. Just hold still. You're lucky you're not blind as well as foolish. Why do you say that? They're drunk in pure grain alcohol, the fools. You sure about that, Doc? Of course I am. I'll rope. It'll rot your livers and stop your hearts. Why can't people just be happy to live in such a beautiful place? Thanks, Doc. I'll take it from here. I'll dock you up with bandages. Not that they deserve them. It's paradise. Paradise, and you're ruining it. Y'all make Doc bad. This is how we get more coffee.
course you little punks need bandages. Just give y'all coffee to sober your butts up. Are you lost? Persimmon says there's an old lady. These are old lady flowers, so I thought you might like them. Thanks. Oh, I didn't mean. I just meant she doesn't like them, so I have extras. What do you think about the folks up at the resort? Persimmons is so pretty. I think she's she'd be nice. But no. Everything is tacky or stupid or beneath her. And Dave, he's always flocking up to the dog and splashing my customers, Just, but he doesn't care. It's always Persimmons wants this or Frank wants that. And Frank, Frank is terrifying, actually. We're all, they're all terrifying. Please don't hold back or I'll think you're hiding something. Jake wouldn't hide anything. I think... Guesses?
Have you noticed any other changes since the resort opened? Yeah, there's a lot more competition. That day guy is always around, and now Jeannie's fiancé is in town. So, you know, no, there's basically two available women in all Primrose, if you count Fiona. Uh-huh, Jake, I'm more interested in the resort at the moment. Let's set your love life on the back burner. Back burner? Sure. That's where it always is. Oh, Jakey boy. No, is that question him? Not freaking handcuffs. Lord.
So what I'm hearing you say is that things were a bit more civilized before the resort opened. Yeah, well, I mean, their guests are always bothering the motorboat, borrowing the motorboats, and tearing around the lake. They're driving away my regulars. And you'd say they're a lot of drinking? And they don't wear the life jackets. I'm pretty sure that's a violation of some sort, isn't it, Sheriff? Certainly. I'll take it every one I see. Now, Jake, have you seen a source of the alcohol? Uh, sure. They're making it up at the resort. Who is? David? Jank? Frank? <laughs> oh, I don't know. How am I supposed to know that? You know, Sheriff, it's been nice chit-chatting, chatting, but I've got to go. It's because he's got some. But that will be it for this video. I'm not going to start the next video on anything. I'm not going to do this on camera unless I don't have to. If I have to, then I'll do it. If not, then I won't do it. But anyways, I hope to see y'all in the next video. Hopefully the town, sure figures out the town and gets the town back to where it is. Or people are just going to keep getting fights. But anyways, I'll see y'all in the next video. If you like this series, hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell icon because I upload twice a day. And I'll see you lovelies in the next video. Bye, guys.